Hello, beautiful besties, and welcome to another reaction. This next one excites me. One of my favorite groups of all time, Earth, Wind, and Fire. And not only that, uh, the song that they're doing is a song called Serpentine Fire. Uh, but what excites me about it is one of my favorite instruments uh, is the bass. I love the bass. And I've been told by Robert Ares, who chose this selection, that the bass on this one is fire. So, Earth, Wind, and Fire, I cannot wait. Let's go check it out. All I could see, you know, was Verdine's face when he was playing the bass, you know, his nasty face, like, <laughs> you know, the groove is just ridiculous. When I heard this song, when it started right, I thought it sounded familiar to me, but because I love Ethan and Fire so much, you get to know their sound, you know, the vocals, you know, the horns, you know, the uh, everything. So everything will sound familiar to you, but I thought this sounded familiar to me. And then when he got to the, to the break where he goes, ba -da 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 -da, oh yeah. I thought, okay, it's this song. I do know the song. Uh, obviously, I don't know it. Well, I know it. I don't know it too well, or else I should have been so sure when I heard it from the start. But, you know, as soon as I got to that hook, I thought, okay, it's this song. I do know it. I had no idea what it was called. Now I know it's Serpentine Fire. Uh, and indeed, it is Serpentine Fire. It's funky as hell. I love the lyrics. One of the things I love about Earth and Fire as well is when you hear their, their lyrics, you know, it's not the normal, even when they're talking about boy meets girl, the way they express those emotions, it's not the normal way, you know, talking about the things like, you know, you can't ignite my energy and, and the ray of the sun and all that stuff. <laughs> they're just so deep, those guys. Bad song. The groove is so bad. I cannot wait to hear some more. It's not only the bass line that does it for me here. I love the vocals. I love the, um, I love the funk, you know, the drums. The horns are incredible, you know, the harmonies, the falsetto of, um, uh, what's his name again, um, Philip Bailey, uh, and also the uh, the gutsy singing of um, the main man himself, Maurice White. Just fantastic stuff, man. Fantastic, beautiful.
Earth, Wind and Fire. This guys are just ridiculous, man. You know, if you're using your earphones to listen to this, just go back to about three, three minutes, uh, you know, of the song between three minutes and three minutes, 20 seconds and listen to what they've done there. You know, they've just panned a part of it to one side. But the, the amount of things they were like playing in that little segment that was panned and you could still hear everything clearly and the groove he was playing, it's just ridiculous stuff, man. The, the guys were so far ahead of their time, both musically, with their live shows, with their lyrics, you know, with uh, one of the greatest groups ever, ever to have existed, Earth and Fire. Amazing guys. And this is a funky as hell uh, song. Uh, as I said to you, I know I remember the song, I know the groove, but uh, I, I had no idea what the lyrics are about. This is the first time I'm actually gonna like, you know, like listen to the lyrics, and it's a good thing that it's also on screen as well. So uh, a good thing there. Beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful stuff. Wow, what a tune, man. Uh, fantastic. Before today, I had no idea what that song was talking about, I swear. <laughs> I couldn't even, I don't think I could even name a lyric from that song. It was just a groove for me. Uh, and it was actually nice to like, actually like put lyrics to it for the first time. Uh, although I think I need to listen to it maybe like two more, th two or three more times, you know, to get those lyrics in my head. But fantastic song, one of the grooviest things you could ever hear. The bass line, as I said to you, was like nasty, you know. Uh, Verdain, one of the greatest bassists ever, and when he plays that, you know, that stunk face, it, he makes... Uh, <laughs> I can't even do it. But I can imagine him in the studio when he was making the song, he must have been like, you know, having one of his nastiest faces on because the groove is so nasty, man. Beautiful song. I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the funk as well. And if you did so, as usual, please don't forget to give the video a big like for me. Many thanks to you for that. All those who found me for the first time today, thank you for stopping by. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoyed yourself enough to come back again. It's Harry. Stay cool, stay safe, and stay beautiful in your heart and soul. Take care. Bye-bye.